So number 17. All right, where the plan is 4 1 and 4 2 tonight. We're going to finish chapter 4 basically tonight. Um, among 300 randomly selected drivers in the 16 to 18 age bracket, 271 were in a car crash in the last year. So we looked at this for real briefly, huh? 300 drivers, 271 were in a car crash. If the driver, if a driver in that age bracket is randomly selected, what is the approximate probability that he or she will be in a car crash during the next year? Random, okay, well, so what's the chance? How would we figure that out? So we have 271 were in car crashes among 300 drivers. That's a lot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 16 to 18, that's probably, I guess that's pretty, probably typical. That's why my insurance is so crazy, because I got kids in that zone. So, um, so what probability is that? How do we figure that out? So how do we always do probability? Four over total. Yeah, it, yeah, four over total. Good, good. So probability is always the amount four over the total. So what is the amount four there? Yeah, <laughs> we're four of the crashes over 300. So divide that on your calculator. So 271 divided by 300. So I'm getting 90. How many places they want on this one? Yeah, 1,000. Three places, right? So I'm getting 0. 0.9033. So third place is there. So 0. 0.903? So just over 90%, huh? 90% of people, 6 to 18. Brian? You don't round until after you move the decimal. Don't round... Oh, you're right, you're right. They want, uh, do they want percentage? Do they want percentage? Oh, just, just, yeah, not, you're right, yeah, after, when we do percentage, we'll do that, yeah, good. Yeah, this one, it's okay. So, would it be unlikely for a driver in that age bracket to be involved in a car crash? Yes. No. No, he said, would it be unlikely? Would it be unlikely? Yeah, no, no, it's very likely, huh? Very likely. Um, is the probability high enough to be of concern? Definitely. Yeah, I, I think so. That's why insurance companies charge me an arm and a leg on that. All right. Is that good? Is that making sense on that? So we did, and then all over 18. So this is 18. We were talking about the, uh, oh, that's right. We finished it, didn't we? The, the, the brown, red, genotype thing. Remember that whole thing about your parents and they contributing um, the genes brown or red? So, so you could get from your two parents brown brown or brown red or red brown or red red and we said uh, what was the chance that so that was D and then well the probability that the child will have red red is one out of four remember that whole thing one out of four mm -hmm. one of the four and then what's the probability that the child will have brown hair and how do you get brown hair Three four. yeah if you read the words brown hair is if you have at least one brown allele. So as long as you have brown anywhere, your hair is going to be red. That's the dominant gene. Remember that from your biology class? That's about all I remember from biology is, is a little bit of that. So three out of three fourths, 75%. See how we're coming up with those? That making sense? We good on all that? All right, I will move on. Uh, this is number 19. Okay, so to the right, yeah. So we're going to, we have three children born to some couple. And it says, what is the probability of exactly two boys out of these three children? So if you're going to have three kids, what's the chance you're going to have two boys? That's what we're basically answering here. So if you're going to have three children. Three. So if I said, yeah, you know, we're going to have three kids. And I really hope we have two boys. What's the chance of that? Yeah, how are you coming up with that? Because there's eight brackets and there's only three with two boys and one girl. Good, good. Yeah, does everybody see that? Can you see those brackets? Those big enough? Yeah, these, these brackets here, I'll number them one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. Those are all the things that can happen gender wise 
when you have three kids, huh? You could have boy, 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 or you could have boy, boy, girl, or you could have boy, girl, boy, boy, girl, girl, you know, on and on you go. What, um, that's not an easy thing to come up with in the middle of an exam on the fly. Can I help you with that? How, how would you, how did they come up with that? I think the easiest way in my years of taking these kind of classes was, was trees, doing a nice little tree. So, for example, when you have your first child, it's either a boy or it's a girl. And then you have your second child. And your second child is either a boy or a girl, boy or girl. So, so far, do you see what I'm doing with the branching? Mm -hmm. The green is the first child. The red, so you could have boy, boy or boy, girl, or girl followed by boy, or girl followed by girl. So far? And then we're going to do a third child. See how the branching is showing what happens with the children, the tree? They call this making trees. It's real helpful, I think. And then the third child is going to... So the third child is going to come off each of these two possibilities. Boy, girl, boy, girl. Sorry, I'm not writing so well. Whoops. I mean, you know, I'm gonna, I don't have room here. Well, maybe I do. All right. I'll keep going. Boy, girl. Boy, girl. Well, that's just terrible. I'm tired of that. All right. Let me do it over here. <laughs> Keep trying to make it work. All right. So what, what was the first one? So the first one was boy girl. boy, girl. And then the second branching would be boy, girl, boy, girl. And then the third layer is boy, girl, boy, girl, boy, girl, boy, girl. So there is a map of the genders for having three children. So in other words, we can do the endpoints. What is, what, what is each of these equal as far as overall results? So this would be boy, 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 if you went that way. Does that make sense? I'm following the path there, you know, just following the tree. So it'll just be boy, boy, boy. And now let's do this one. What's, what's going to come after? Oh, girl. Well, you follow the tree to get there. Oh, boy, 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 girl. Boy, boy, girl, huh? So that'd be boy, boy, girl. That good to get to that one? And then you just keep following the tree to get to each one. So the next one would be boy, girl, boy. Boy, girl, boy. See what I'm doing there? Just moving through the tree from left to right. Then, you're, then you could have first child boy, then girl, then girl. Boy, girl, girl. Is that making sense? See how I'm doing that? I was trying to figure out how to do that on the next chapter. Yeah. That was hard. <laughs> oh, you're already in the next chapter, huh? Yeah, boy, girl, girl. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, so just keep moving. So girl, boy, boy. Girl, boy, boy. And girl, boy, girl. Girl, boy, girl. And girl, girl, boy. Girl, girl, boy. And then girl, 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 finally. So there they are. There's the eight. Like Ken was saying, there's eight different things there that can happen, huh? As far as the genders go. So, yeah, so what were they saying? Two boys? So how many of those have uh, two boys? Three. Yeah, it's be uh, this one. You could have the two boys first and then a girl. Or you can have the girl in the middle. Or you could have the girl first and then the two boys, huh? So the probability then, the probability of two boys is three out of eight, huh? Because there's eight different things that can happen, and three of those are two boys. Is that making sense? There's eight. There's eight things here all together, and three of them are having two boys and a girl. How are we doing? Anything I can say to help with that? Is that making good sense? That's way easier to understand. Oh, really? I don't, I'll have to look at what they did, yeah. 
All right, so the, so the tree. So what, what number was that? All right. 19. 19? Yeah. Okay, so there it is, number 19. Let's go back. Oh, yeah, it was 19. Yeah, good, okay. Let's move ahead to number 20. The sample space listing. So the same kind of thing. The eight, you know, same thing. It's the boy, boy, girl, girl. It's all the same stuff. Uh, after identifying, da, da, da. so first off, it says identify the sample space. So it's the same kind of thing. Having three kids, you know, boy, girl, that whole thing. So when it says on number twenty to identify the sample space, do you know what it wants? It wants you to use a comma to separate the answers. It's pretty tedious. In other words, it wants you to list them all out. What I mean is it wants BBB, BBG, B, what is it, BGB and BGG, right? All these things. I'm just going over here. I'm just going down with BBB, BBG, BGB, BGG, etc. It just wants you to list them all with commas between them. That's called the sample space. That means when, in probability, when they speak of a sample space, they mean like everything that can happen. The sample space. All the different things that can happen in this situation. So if we go back here, we keep going to be girl, boy, boy, then girl, boy, girl, then girl, girl, boy, and finally girl, girl, girl. It wants all eight of those, any order, you can put any order, separated by commas. Is it what did they say on this one? Um, oh, on the next question? The, the first one says identify four. Four children. Oh, oh, I didn't even notice that. <laughs> yeah, that's... That's long. That's long, exactly. That's terribly long. That's a bummer. Okay. <laughs> Thanks. Um, I was happy, and I hadn't noticed that. Um, yeah, so, uh, yeah, that's a bummer. So, yeah, we're going to have to... Here, I'll do it here. We're going to have to do the whole thing, but now for four for four. Yeah, it's super long. All right. Yeah, let's do it. So, um, all right. First child, boy or girl. Second child, same thing. Boy or girl. Boy or girl. Probably need more room here in the middle. Try to go down a little bit. Boy or girl. Okay. Third child, boy or girl. Boy or girl. Boy or girl. Boy or girl. Then you got to put a fourth child on there. Yeah, they won't push us any further than this, <laughs> which is good. Boy, girl. Oh, boy, I even ha hardly have room. Boy, girl, boy, girl, boy, girl, boy, girl, boy, girl. Boy, girl, boy, girl, boy, girl. Okay, so putting it all together then. So now you got to do like the equals thing, and you got to do each branch. Okay, so let's just let's just track it on through. Boy, 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 and then just like keep going. Just track them all out. This is a terribly long problem. I'll write them out for you. Boy, 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 girl. Next one's going to be boy, boy, girl, boy. Boy, boy, girl, boy. And then boy, boy, girl, girl. Boy, boy, girl, girl. Next one is boy, girl, boy, boy. Boy, girl, boy, boy. Next one is boy, girl, boy, girl. And then boy, I'm getting lost. Boy, girl, girl. Boy, girl, girl, boy, boy, girl, girl, girl. Right, that's halfway. Whew, that's halfway. Okay, so the second half all starts with girl. If you want to save time, it's going to be all that same stuff, except there's a G in the front. It's, yeah, just, just make this front letter a G. G, 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 G. And the back three, back three, back three, all the same. B, B, B. B B G. See, I'm doing B B B B B B B G, B G B, B G B, B G G, G 
GBB, GBG, GGB, GGG. There we go. Yeah, that took a long time. Yeah, yeah. So you got to list all those with commas. 15 minutes trying to figure that out. Yeah, yeah, I, I believe it. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so, so there you have it. It's on YouTube, and you can just write it down and enter it. You know, it'll be the exact same question for you. It won't make it bigger. So that's, that's a long one. We good? That makes sense? Those are all the results, that, all the things that can happen when you have four children. Yeah, I have five. So, you yeah. know. All right, so um, now let's go back. So there's number 20. And um, where are we at? So find the probability of getting three girls and one boy in any order. So three girls and one boy. Let's go back. Three girls and one boy. What's the chance of getting three girls and one boy? And one boy. Any order. So let's go through and circle them all. Here's three girls and one boy. Here's three girls and one boy. I think I'm missing some. Yeah, basically, there's got to be... How many has there got to be? How many different ones are going to have three girls and one boy in any order? Four. Yeah, how do you know four right away? I don't know. I just did the poem. Well, <laughs> <laughs> oh, I thought you were doing logic. Think with me. If I said, hey, I know this family. they got three girls and one boy. How many, different, how many different ways could that be? Well, the boy could be first, or the boy could be second, or the boy could be third, or the boy could be fourth, right? There's got to be four, doesn't it? Does that make sense? There's got to be four different orderings. The boy could be first, or second, or third, or fourth, with all girls. So I, so I know there's two more I'm missing. I just don't know where they are. Uh, right here. The boy, there's the boy third. Fourth, where's the boy second? Oh, yeah, yeah, right there. See how the four different positions? See, here's the boy first, here's the boy second, here's the boy third, here's the boy fourth, with all other girls. Huh? Here's, there's got to be four of them. So what's the probability then? Remember, it's always four over total. So it's four over, how many total? Sixteen. Four over sixteen. Divide that on your calculator. That's one fourth, huh? Mm-hmm. So that's point two five, isn't it? So what's the chance if you're going to have four kids? What's the chance of having three girls and a boy? Twenty five percent chance. That makes sense. All right, so that's a that's a pa- that's a painful problem. Yeah, it's for sure. No, I don't know. It's certainly fair game. Um, probability and type of decimal point two five. There we go. So yeah, so this isn't right. You have to list the ones with four, right? I was only doing three. All right, let's keep moving. So number twenty one, a study. A lot of words here. A study addresses the issue of whether pregnant women can correctly predict the gender of their baby. Correctly predict the gender of their baby. Among 104 pregnant women, 57 correctly predicted the gender of their baby without, you know, without seeing the sonogram. Um, so if pregnant women have no such ability... There is a 0.327 probability of getting these by chance. So what do you conclude? Is that making any sense there? So a study addressed the issue whether pregnant women can correctly predict the gender. I, it, you know, it, it reminds me of, we've had five children, um, and um, my wife called all five correctly without, without an, an O-scope. 
We, I mean, we saw, we, we said, we don't want to see the gender till birth. And she correctly predicted five in a row. And, um, and um, I, I think it's just because she knew her hormone level. After, she got lucky in the first one, I think, and then she knew her hormone level. Anyway, whatever the reason. But um, the funny part, I still remember when my um, second son was born, my fourth child. So, all right, so boys, girls. So, um, so what do you think? So, how, how, what kind of conclusion can we draw? It's all about, you know, really all the rest of that stuff doesn't matter. It's all about that 0. 0.327. 0. 327 probability of getting such sample results by chance. That's all you've got to pay attention to. So what does it mean if, if something happens and there's a 30, that's the same as 32.7% chance of a lot of counts? Too high. Yeah, it's too high to believe there's anything real going on there. You know what I mean? We don't really believe these pregnant women are able to predict. They just got lucky. That there's just too much a chance that they could... Now, now if like, if, if it was higher, like, you know, fit, what did it say, out of 104, 57 called it right? If, like, 100 out of 104 got it right, then we would think, hey, you know, that, that's probably not luck. You know, they probably know something. Right? But if only 57 out of 104, and there's a 30, calculated 32% chance... We believe that it's, it was just probably luck. So, I mean, it could have been skill, but there's not strong evidence. So, the probability shows that the sample results, what, have easily occurred, what, could not or could, have easily occurred by chance. Yeah, could. Could have easily, because there's a 32% chance it's just luck. So, it could have just been those women were getting lucky. Maybe my wife got lucky. Uh, could have easily occurred by chance. It, it appears that there, what, is or is not sufficient evidence. Yeah, is not sufficient evidence to conclude that pregnant women can correctly predict the gender of their baby. On that. Yeah. Is there like a cutoff to where we're going? Oh, yeah, it's 5%. Okay. Yeah, 5%. Yeah, it's, yeah, same as last time. That's the significance level. So whenever anything, like if you have a new drug treatment or, or, or a new technique of predicting the gender of your baby, and you're able to do it, and the chance it was luck is less than 5%, we believe that that thing's really working. Now, I mean, that's generally what, when I say we, the, the world of, you know, people that review statistics and decide these things, generally it's agreed upon that if there's less than a 5 so if, if you have if, if less then 5% chance of luck. If there's less than a 5% chance that it, could, then it was luck, then, then we believe that the method works, whatever it is. The method really works. Really, I'm in that room here. Really works. Yeah, so if there's less than a 5% chance of luck, then we believe that the method really works. So all we needed to see there was the 32.7. Is that good? I'm making sense on that? Questions I can answer? All right, let's try number 12. Use um, a study. Oh, <laughs> thanks. It's off my screen. Study in the effect of seatbelt seat belt use in head-on passenger car collisions. Is that important to use seatbelts in head-on passenger collisions? Seems silly that we need to study this, huh? Seems, uh, you, can I tell one more? This is ridiculous. She should have had to pay thousands for all that. I feel like. like a waste of time. Like, did no. no, we just threw it out and they let her go. That was in Modesto. That was in Modesto. Yeah. Anyway, anyway, so uh, so yeah, so studying the effect of seatbelt use head-on passenger car collision found that the drivers using a seatbelt had a 64.1 percent survival rate. Which means what? 36% died, right? Even using a seatbelt. While drivers not using the seatbelt had a 41.5% survival rate, which means what? What's that? 59% or so died. If the seatbelts have no effect on survival rate, which is ridiculous, there is less than a 0. .0001 chance of getting these results by luck, in other words. So, what do we conclude? So really, all that matters, again, is just that number. That's the chance that, because it, it, you know, luck is always a possibility. That's, you always, that's what we're always, a lot of what we're doing in statistics is saying, yeah, but maybe it was just luck. Well, 
The chance of luck in this case is only 0001, 0001. And so what does that mean about these results? Do we have easily occurred by chance? It could, could, or, could or could not. Yeah, it could not have easily occurred by chance. That can't happen, by not easily, by chance. There's the chance of luck. That's like chance of getting struck by lightning twice on the way to, to whatever, right? I mean, that's super unlikely. I Bru was a point zero zero one. You got struck by lightning? No. Oh. I hit a tree head on, no seatbelt. <gasps> wow. 80 miles an hour. Dang. Tree head on, no seatbelt. Anyway, I'm recording right now. Oh, wow. Yeah, I don't so could not have easily occurred by chance. It appears that there, what, is or is not sufficient evidence to conclude that seatbelts do not have an effect. Wait a minute, I'm, I'm confused by that myself. Sufficient to conclude that seatbelts do not have an effect? Do have. Do have, yeah. Oh, thanks. I'm reading that wrong. <laughs> Thinking that's what, yeah, do have an effect. Thank you, thank you. There is, yeah, yeah, that all makes sense too. <laughs> thanks. Is sufficient evidence that they do have an effect? Of course. I heard it from the crash test expert at Duke. <laughs> it's true. All right. Good. So, it's, so anyway, those two questions, it's just all, you don't even need to read the rest of the stuff. It's all about the chance. And if the chance is, is less than 5%, we believe the results. If it's higher than 5%, we think it could be luck. It's just too, too likely to be luck. Okay. So um, is, that, is that the last one? No. 23. Study in the enhancing effect of coffee on long-term memory. Is that true? Found that 35 participants given 200 milligrams of caffeine performed better on a memory test 24 hours later. There was now, again, what, what do we care about? Only the probability. What's the probability? There was a probability of 0 0.049 that it was just chance. So what do we think? Is that, um, do we believe that the coffee's making a difference? Yeah. Yeah. We do. Does that make sense? Because the point 0.049 is less than 0.5. Right? 0.49 is lower than 0.50, if, you, if that's helpful. 0.05 is the same as 0.50, huh? Yeah, so it's, so, it's, so it's a low chance of luck, so we believe the caffeine is really, is really helping. So, so it, it could not have occurred by, easily occurred by chance. It appears that there is sufficient evidence that the caffeine really helps long-term memory. It's interesting. Maybe I, I, I don't drink coffee. I just, I don't know, it's never started. And I have a terrible memory. Maybe I should start. I, I, I really do. My kids always kid me how bad my memory is. I should start drinking coffee. All right. B. B, now the next one, probability shows that the sample results have easily occurred by, oh yeah, oh there's a second one, I'm sorry, part B. <laughs> a group given a higher dose of 300 milligrams performed better than the 200 milligram group with a probability of 0.75 that it was locked. 0.75. 0.75. So what do we think about 0.75 that it was due to chance? So now they're upping it even more. So we, we already, you know, part A is over. We saw that a little bit of caffeine does seem to help, 200 milligrams. But when they up it, they say, well, let's, if a little's good, maybe a lot's even better. They up it to 300 milligrams. But, I mean, they did do a little better, but it, could, it looks like it was just luck, right? There's a 75% chance it, was, it, it could have just happened by luck. So that's, that's way too big. So uh, it could have easily occurred by chance. There is not sufficient evidence to believe that 300 is better than the 200. Does that make sense? So it's just all about the chance of luck. We're just getting that. So later in the course, in a few weeks, we'll start calculating. We'll say, well, how'd you come up with that 0.75? That's the kind of thing we'll do in a few weeks. Right now, they're just getting us ready. They're just saying, hey, when you see this result, here's what it means. Later, we'll get those results ourselves. All right, number 24. I think we're about at the end here, aren't we? Yeah, 24, last one. Study of um, 420,000 95 cell phone users, 135 developed cancer of the brain or nervous system. Do they still study that? I don't know. I have no idea. I never, I never watch the news. I don't know. Anyway, um, when, 
when comparing this sample group to another who did not use their cell phones, it was found that there is a probability, again, this is all we care about, 0.512, that that was just by chance. So what does that mean? Do we believe the cell phones are really causing the cancer? We don't. There's too good a chance it was just luck. Those are people that would have got cancer anyway. It seems like. There's a good chance anyway. It seems like it. Eddie, weren't you telling me they were coming up with a solution or something? Or that maybe yeah. there was a breakthrough? That's what I read on the news like a couple weeks ago. Like, they were like, Some kind of breakthrough? Like finding a cure, yeah. Yeah? yeah. Um, um, really? That'd be great. Um, so could have easily occurred by chance. There is not sufficient evidence. We good? I'm going to leave that behind us.